Welcome to the Success Sensei Podcast for anyone interested in success, happiness, and balance. We'll teach you how to be a black belt at life. And now, your host, former professional fighter, multiple world champion, entrepreneur, and investor, Robert Devan. Bowing in. This is Roundhouse Rob, the Success Sensei, helping you to win at life one kick and punch at a time. And today we're talking about don't be a can't. Now I hope you heard what I said. I said can't as in cannot, not the actual C word that you thought I was going to say. Uh, apologies, first of all, it's probably the worst clickbait I've ever used, but now that I have your attention, you do what you have to do. Now that I have your attention, I guarantee you, you will get something out of this podcast. So do have a listen on. So the C word, the other C word that you thought I was referring to is one, is, isn't the dirtiest C word of all C words. The dirtiest C word that starts with a C third letter is N and the last letter is T is the word can't and can't is the worst word used in my club or in my in my uh, dojo if, if people say can't it's a terrible sign because it means that they have an emotional or, or a mental block to doing something can't is an awful word it's a word that ends dreams ends plans and finishes many many great people so first of all don't be somebody that listens. Or don't be a person that listens to other people when they tell you that you can't. So if you have goals and if you have aspirations and, and you want to do things and people are telling you you can't, even if you are a very determined, motivated person, it still uses up some of your motivation and some of your determination, especially when people are saying to you that... Um, you know, and they're giving you a list of the reasons why they think you should fail and they're listing them out. No matter how positive you are, it is going to have an effect on you. And yeah, sure, you should be able to turn it around and you should be able to use that to fuel your fire. So if someone tells you you can't, it's easy to go, All right, that's it. I'm going to show everyone. I'm going to show that person. But at the same time, your motivation is, is something that can be depleted. Your positivity is something that can be depleted. And it can be pretty hard to listen to somebody telling you 10 reasons why you can't go ahead and do what you're hoping to do. It can dull your fire, even though we, we like to think that it can uh, fuel the fire. It can actually dull the fire, especially if it's a, a couple of people or if it's a few people. So if you have the wrong advisors in your life, or if you have frenemies, or if you have people who, when you tell them your goal or your aspirations or your, your hopes and desires for the future, that they immediately reflect it on themselves and give you advice based on their own feelings and emotions, which isn't necessarily going to be the best advice for you to achieve what you want to achieve. Please don't share your innermost feelings with these people. Please don't share your, your innermost um, aspirations for your goals and achievements with frenemies with people who are going to be competitive with you with people who aren't going to have your best interests at heart why would you open yourself and look to them for validation why would you um, give somebody the opportunity to hurt you why would you give somebody the opportunity by telling them that you hope to achieve something knowing that they're going to um, knock you or try to knock you off your off your perch or they will immediately reflect on themselves and think well you know I, what have I, I haven't done enough of that I don't want that for you because I haven't achieved it myself or I haven't done enough myself what you need to do is seek like-minded people so don't seek somebody that's going to tell you you can't seek somebody that has already done it so that's why mentors are very very important mentors by the way don't have to be someone that you actually meet physically it could be someone that you read their books and you follow their <laughs> podcasts or you watch their videos mentors could be somebody that you don't have you don't actually see day to day from, from a life coach point of view it could be someone that you've just choose to emulate and someone that you watch from a distance or listen to from a distance and um, so yeah so that's first of all don't surround yourself with people who tell you that you can't for no other reason than their own self-interest now obviously 
if it is a general genu a genuinely off the wall idea and it's a and it's a friend giving you constructive criticism or saying look you know you need to reconsider that's fine we're not talking about that but we're talking about you hope to achieve something and they literally just knock you because they're reflecting it on themselves and their own inadequacies or their own um failed goal attempts are they're just fearful of change themselves are they just have a different life philosophy for you are they just generally don't genuinely don't have an interest in what you're talking about um are they don't wish the best for you so keep, be very very careful about who you divulge your 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 secrets to um also don't be a person that says can't to yourself so don't be that person that te that tells yourself that you can't um, if if you break things down into small goals, once you know what you want to do and you break it down into small steps, of course you can. If other people have done it, why can't you do it? Um, just do a realistic time frame. Remember, the time to achieve things is generally twice as long as you think it's going to be. Um, things can take a hell of a lot longer than you anticipate that they're going to be. And that's what causes a lot of the frustration in people and the reason why they give up on their goals. But... Don't immediately give yourself an emotional or a mental mental obstacle by saying, "I can't." Um, give it, give it your. Don't don't do that to yourself. Don't shoot yourself in the foot. Give it your best go. Whatever self limiting beliefs you have, you need to look at those. If you're genuinely interested in becoming more successful than you currently are in whatever shape or form, you can't do the same things that you've always done, and you can't think like you've always done. You will have to improve your success mindset. I mean, that makes sense. If you want to be more successful, you have to think more successfully. And one of those ways is to eliminate any any self-doubt or any, well, you'll always have your self-doubt, but to manage it, to eliminate um, any self-limiting thoughts and, and beliefs like, I can't, I can't will stop you from doing absolutely anything. The third thing is don't be the person that tells somebody else you can't do that. Um, it's very important that when people come to you with their problems, as they will do, especially if they realize that you're on your own um, self-awareness journey and you're trying to strive for success, once people realize that themselves, they almost certainly will start to come to you looking for your advice. So make sure you do listen to them. And if it genuinely is something that you think that they shouldn't do, then absolutely say it. But don't just immediately jump to conclusions and say, you know, you shouldn't do that or you can't do that. Try to put yourself in their shoes. Imagine imagine how what, what situation they're in at the moment. So absolutely listen and then give the best constructive advice that you, you possibly can. Um, back in the day, I had one of, one of my karate instructors. Back in the day, was a very diplomatic karate instructor. And he would never say you can't do, do that. He would say to me, you can do that. That's one way to do it. But let me show you another way. So that would absolutely open me up to listen to his way and to watch his way of doing it. And you know which way I ended up adopting? Of course it was his method and not my own. But if he had said can't, it might have driven me further along the path of doing it my own way. So it was a very smart way he handled it. And as I said, he was a very diplomatic karate instructor. And he, he just knew the, the way to do it. So yeah, obviously if you're talking to somebody and you feel that it might not necessarily be the path that you think that they should go down, you, you can always say to them that of course you can do that, but let me show you another way. Or what about considering this method? So I hope that helps you. Um, don't be a can't. <laughs> um, try to bring more positivity into your life as much as you can in the day-to-day -day struggle. Obviously, life gets in the way. Obviously, it's hard to be positive all the time and not false positivity. That's one of the things when I'm listening to other people's podcasts that drives me absolutely mad. It's the false positivity. Um, and false positivity, when you when you hit day-to-day, -day, your day-to-day -day struggle, your day-to-day -day life, you're going to be negative sometimes but to try to manage it as much as possible. It's a normal human emotion to be down. It's a normal human emotion to be up, but you want to manage things as much as possible and not actually do it to yourself, not to be your own source of unhappiness. So, so do keep that in mind. I hope that it's helped you this week and coming to you Friday will be the Friday Blitz. Make sure that you, you have a listen to that. And as always, any feedback, all feedback is greatly appreciated. Thank you for listening. I'm Roundhouse Rob, the Success Sensei. Life is a fight. You can enjoy and win. Bowing out. 
this has been the Success Sensei, fighting the winning fight. So add us, subscribe, like, and comment. Keep those hands up and keep moving forward.